Hello XDC family and welcome back to Crypto Ready. If you want to be ready for crypto, then you are in the right place. Today we're going to be talking about XDC and its connections to R3 Quarter with an opportunity of $5 trillion every single day. And we're going to be touching upon some massive news. So I hope you will watch to the end. We shall continue right after this intro. Looking at coin market cap, once again, the market is on a downfall. Bitcoin is ranging between 55 and 60k, and Ethereum around 3k. You have the chance to accumulate all your favorite cryptos at a discount. Have a look at the prices of your favorite cryptos, and you will see they are priced very low right now. Before we have that uptrend, because the uptrend is incoming. Listen to this. So we now have JP Morgan telling us that the crypto market rebound is expected in August. Liquidations are going to finish by the end of July. So this is good news for us, right? It's going to be an uptrend from August. This is why you accumulate when the prices are low. And as they say here clearly, this decline in reserves is likely a reflection of Bitcoin liquidations by creditors of Gemini, Mt. Gox, German government. They are offloading crypto that they seized from supposedly criminal activities. So everything's being put into place, guys. They are selling what they need to sell. I don't think this is the biggest sell-off yet. It's going to be a bigger sell-off. Bitcoin is going to crash much lower. But guys, be ready for the uptrend because it's coming because you got JP Morgan telling you that yes, the sell-off is going to stop at the end of July. Some more positive news for crypto. SEC greenlights banks to exclude crypto assets from balance sheets with conditions. So the SEC basically is allowing some banks and brokerages to avoid reporting customer crypto holdings on their balance sheets, but under certain conditions. Now this change is going to give crypto holders more options for storing their crypto with established financial institutions. Guys, I'm laughing here. You know why? Because I said this for a very long time. That banks are going to be holding your crypto for you. We've heard it many times from the big industry leaders that the banks are not going to go away. They are going to bring their tanks out before they have to. They are not going to let go of that power they have on the world. And now the SEC has given them that green light, right? They have a way out of reporting customers' crypto transactions off their balance sheets which is in the end good news for everybody overall it's good news for the industry for crypto so be ready because crypto is in the end gonna be held by your financial institution quickly looking at the bill for crypto so this bill that the u.s senators are looking to bring in this is going to be addressing decentralized finance issues ranging from anti-money laundering provisions to custody rules now, for me, guys, I want to custody my own crypto. I'd rather have it offline on a hardware wallet, unless I'm taking it off my wallet to stake. But otherwise, I'd rather have it on my own hardware wallet offline, where I hold the keys and not anybody else. But if we're going to have regulated financial institutions holding our crypto for us, where you have that security, that safety, then yes, maybe I will consider it. But looking at this right now, guys, so far, the news is positive for crypto. Crypto is here to stay. So pack your bags and be ready to go because I think everything's happening this year for regulations. And next year, we're going to fly high. And just before we continue, I have a second channel called Crypto Utility. The link is at the top of the video right now. Please click the link, subscribe to the channel. Don't miss out, guys, because I only talk about utility. Looking at the XDC chart, currently below 3 cents, which is still a massive blessing in disguise, guys. It's tried to do a little uptrend, but like everything else, it is ranging at the moment. This is another good dca in opportunity. This is what I do when I see the market in the red. I start to put as much cash as I have on the side. Doesn't matter how much it is, $10, $1, whatever, you accumulate XDC. Because once everything is set and done, which is going to happen, I believe, from XDC 2.0 onwards from next month, especially with regulations coming in, you're not going to catch any utility coin at the low price it is today. And XDC is definitely not at under 3 cents. We're going to start off by watching a video clip 
from Billy Sabel of the XDZ Network. This is a tweet from King Solomon. He's done an amazing job with this interview. And in this video, they're talking about quite a few different things, which is what XDZ is attacking. Tokenization, real world assets, trade finance. We're going to pick a short clip for you to watch because Billy Sabel gives us a lot of good information here on RWA, which I think is the biggest opportunity here. Let's have a quick listen and then we'll carry on discussing after. Look at rwa.xyz as an example. If you want to look at what's tracking, I think back in um, it was it was March. I actually I did a presentation on tokenization and what we're doing with private credit and, at ETH Denver, and uh, you know, the number overall was you know uh, you know under a billion dollars. I think it was um, now. If you look at the numbers now between what's invested in U.S. Treasuries and what's invested in um, in private credit. You know, you're you're well in over a billion, and you're you know you're really tracking a significant amount of, um, you know, network activity that's happening around this. So, you know, you look at uh, you know, Ondo is a good example. I think they've done a really good job of, you know, when they started, which wasn't really all that long ago. You know, from going from zero to a hundred million, and then going from two hundred to four hundred, and you know, you see something they posted a month ago, and now it's five hundred million. So. You know, these are things that that happen very quickly. You're seeing doubling happening in months. So, you know, that's a rate of progression that's happening now with who's in the market, never or the industry, not uh, never, not anybody that's not in it currently. And so the more the, we go back to the show me state, you know, being from Missouri and you, you see the technology coming on board and institutions coming in, you know, the more and more institutions start coming in and adding more and more money. You know, that rate is going to continue to accelerate. So you're, you're going to see an acceleration of, of volume of transactions and, and volume of dollars. And um, and that's, you know, something that I think six months from now, you know, you might see, you know, 4x over this number or, or, or something like, I don't know what the specific number is going to be. So guys, wasn't that amazing? I could tell you what that specific number is going to be. It's going to be a 10x minimum. If regulations are here now, XTC 2.0 is coming out next month with all the places XTC is already involved in, which are happening right now. We've talked about MLETR this week, RWA this week. All these markets, how fast they're growing and how quickly XTC is helping them make everything easier. I don't think it's going to be a 2x or a 4x. It's going to be a lot more. And as you see on this, RWA.xyz, it's a very nice website to be on. Money is flowing in to the XDC network, just like a massive wave coming in. And I think this is just the beginning. These numbers are very small right now, because right now they are testing, right? This is the testing phase. They are slowly going to increase it. You know, when I say flip the switch overnight situation, we hear that quite a lot on this market, but I don't think there is a such a thing. It's going to be a slow but upward movement. If you zoom out, you can see that with the XDC price, with the amount of volume we're getting, with the amount of investments we're getting from institutions, it is slowly but surely going up. It is not a matter of if it's going to happen. It's a matter of when it's going to happen. And we know it's going to happen in the next one to two years because how fast are we moving right now? Regulations, elections, XTC 2.0, markets. JP Morgan just said they're going to start firing back up from August. It's all pre-planned. So just be ready with the plan, sit back, and enjoy the damn show. Looking at a tweet from XVOshi. XDC is the literal Ethereum killer. Now I can't preach this enough, as Bobby Jonas will shortly be telling you in the comments section that XDC is the Ethereum killer. And as we see here, the numbers don't lie. Bitcoin was the first generation, Ethereum was the second generation and XDC is the third generation, which is the better version of everything in the past. XDC wins in every single way. This is why I say XDC is not just the Ethereum killer, it's also going to be the Bitcoin killer. But once utility takes off, because all the big boys want utility, if you have a crypto which doesn't have a use case, which is not solving a real world problem, then yes, it shouldn't exist. Why does it need to be there? XDC is the winner in every single way. Looking at a tweet from Daniel Lewis Jr. Coda's Zinfin XDC bridge hasn't even happened yet to be released soon. 
Have a listen to this guys because this is massive. Zinfin Network runs on KYC enforced, delegated proof of stake governance driven masternodes, making it the most suitable and enterprise friendly public network for financial instruments. US dollars, $5 trillion per day market. Coda to Zinfin Bridge to be released soon relays limited set of data, financial contracts and transactions onto Zinfin public network, providing greater liquidity and counterparty risk mitigation across global regulated liquidity markets to the financial instruments deployed on private network and legacy system. This has to be the best paragraph I've read about XTC and R3 Coda in a very long time. What gets my attention guys is this part right here, five trillion dollars per day market. How many times did I tell you quadrillions of dollars? And this is just the beginning, right? If this bridge was to go live, which is going to be released soon, imagine what that is going to do to the incoming volume, to how much money is coming in and out of XDC. And the price of XDC will have to be pretty high to be able to deal with five trillion dollars per day, right? This is why I say guys, XDC is going to shock the world, XDC is going to be a household name, XDC is going to melt faces because we can see the opportunity right here, as it tells you right here, trillion dollars per day and this is just one market. We're talking about just one value movement opportunity here. When you add trade finance RWA into the mix, then guys, the sky is no longer the limit, we're going to the damn moon. So be prepared and diamond hands. So we're now going to be talking about cryptonomy. We're going to look at my current investments and make some new deposits. As we've seen earlier in the video, guys, crypto is experiencing a correction, right? We are looking at an uptrend from August, as JP Morgan has told us. And I know that many people currently are panicking. And when everybody else is panicking, you need to be bullish because later, it will be too late. And this is why I use cryptonomy. I hedge my risks and I am accumulating positions while crypto is so cheap, giving me the opportunity for profit. And how am I accumulating positions in cryptonomy? Well, first of all, I am staking my crypto. Let's have a look at my fixed deposits that are made in the month of June. For my HBAR, I invested 100,000 HBAR for 12 months at 120% APR. So far, I have accumulated 11,739 HBAR. And in the end of the 12 month contract, I would be getting 120,750 HBAR, which is why I continue to put in more contracts with more of my money. So based on all these factors on how much money I am earning, I am now going to create a new fixed contract. I currently have a balance of 0.18 Ethereum. I'm going to be investing the max amount. I'm going to select 12 months because the rate is the best at 12 months at 123%. Click on continue, agree to the terms and conditions and click on create. Request has been sent and the contract has been created instantly. And as you can see right at the top now, I have a new contract in Ethereum for 12 months at 123% which is a massive return on my investment. We're now going to move on and talk about the launch pool. The launch pool has been amazing with how much money I have been earning in passive income every single month. The current average return on investment is 10x and the all time high average return on investment is 57x. And as you can see, they are a venture fund. So they invest in early stage projects. The latest project, Cryptopia TOS, they raised 291K and the total raise was $1.66 million on the 1st of July. As you see here, you invest your money into the launch pool. They invest into these new stage projects. And when the massive gains happen, this is where you profit from. So we're now going to look at how much passive income I've earned with my launch pool contracts that I started in the month of June. I invested 12,000 USDT and so far I've earned 22,000 USDT. The profit sharing is 50-50 and as soon as I reach my max profit, even though this contract is locked for 12 months, as soon as I receive a 1 to 5x profit, then the contract will close itself, which is amazing. So the month of June, guys, brought in a passive income of 35,000 USDT. 
So as the numbers are so amazing in the launch pool, I am now going to create a new contract. I'm going to be investing 50,000 USDT into the X silver tier because I get a better profit share and my expected profit is up to a 10x. I'm going to click on continue, click that I agree with the terms and conditions and click on create. The request has been sent and as you can see at the top right now, the contract has been created. And looking at where the crypto markets are at right now guys, staking to earn profits, I believe it's the best way forward, which is what I am doing, where you can earn daily returns in any token of your choice, which I think offers the best opportunity given the current situation of the crypto industry. And guys, just remember that this is never financial advice. This is me just documenting my journey. This is what I am doing. I am doing the best I can to accumulate positions during this correction. I'm trying to avoid trading my crypto because I am not an experienced trader. I don't want to lose my crypto. So for me right now, the best solution is Cryptonomy's interest account. So please do your own due diligence, invest responsibly. But right now, as you've seen, the numbers don't lie.